Oh, hi there! Welcome to Amazing Builds. This is where you learn how to create unique models using crafting methods that apply even in your own living room. Today I'm building a steampunk monowheel. This is a self-propelled model made entirely of wood and powered by rubber bands. It doesn't require any glue, but it does require some sanding and waxing. And I'll also be using some metallic wax to give it that steampunk look effect. The box contains four wooden boards, a manual, three different types of rubber bands, a patch of sandpaper, and a stick of wax. The manual has instructions in multiple languages. Here we have a list of spare parts, the explanation of the symbols, as well as indications on how to remove the pieces using the tool provided with the kit. The first thing I did after I unwrapped everything was to carefully sand each board. I wanted to make sure there are no imperfections because many of these pieces will be rubbing against each other. The boards are pretty smooth so I've lightly sanded them in the direction of the grain using 220 grit fine sandpaper. I've started assembling the internal gears of this model by looking through the manual and then taking out all of the pieces required for the gears and the shafts. I use a small file to get every gear as smooth as possible. Now, let's build it together and see how it works. So what exactly is a monowheel? A monowheel is a kind of vehicle with only one wheel and the driver riding inside it. 
It first appeared around 1860, but never gained popularity because of its unsafe braking and instability. Monowheels are still built today, but mostly for entertainment. Now I'm done assembling the internal gears. So the next step is to apply some wax to have them running as smooth as possible. Instead of using the stick of wax provided with a kit, I'm actually using wax paste that I'm applying with a small brush. And now I'll let them dry while I continue assembling the outer shell of the model. These parts have engravings that resemble metal plates. I've decided to apply metallic wax on most of the fixed parts to give it that steampunk look. I've covered all of the areas that I want to highlight with masking tape. Now I'm carefully cutting the tape using a precision knife. Make sure you start painting the edges first. And now we're going to let them dry for about an hour. Well, these are looking wonderful. The metallic wax gives them a nice shine. Now I will attach the two tracks to the outer shell. Two small rubber loops are needed to assemble the rear wheels.
Next, I'm building a pair of pistons. These have no function, but they give a very nice visual effect. I'm now building the center wheel. It's the biggest moving part of this model. Great, now that I'm done assembling all of the parts, all I have to do is just put them together.
Well, this is it, the final piece. So how does it work? Here we have the lock for the back wheels. This is the turn key that exerts tension on the rubber bands. And this is the engine switch. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And for more amazing builds, please subscribe to this channel.